You're watching The Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, what you need to know if you've been told you may need a hip replacement and when a good time to get a hip replacement may be. With us, uh, we have a board certified orthopedic surgeon. He's currently the chair uh, of the sports medicine uh, department at the American Academy of orthopedic surgery, uh, Dr. Matsuda. Dr. Matsuda, welcome yeah. to the program. Thanks, thanks for uh, having it, me. Did I say your chair right there? The, the yeah, well, it's not a uh, sports medicine program, it's a committee. Okay. So I'm the chair of the Sports Medicine Arthroscopy Committee for the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgery, which just happens to have a big conference right now uh, in San Diego. That's right, the biggest in the world. Biggest right? in the world, yeah. Rotates uh, every year, but now we're in San Diego. And your lecture is on hips to other orthopedic surgeons. Yes, I, I teach about hip arthroscopy, minimally invasive camera surgery of okay. hips, usually in athletes. Okay, good. Well, we have a few minutes here. So what yep. should everybody know about hip replacement surgery today? Uh, well, I think about hip replacements, um, there's two main types. There's the so-called resurfacing, which is basically taking a hip that has arthritis, and that means patients lost the cartilage, okay? So they're rubbing bone on bone, and it's painful, and it's stiff. You can put a cap on the head. That's called resurfacing, okay? It's like putting a crown over a decayed tooth, all right? So you can put a crown over this, called resurfacing, and put another surface on the socket side, so you got two metal on metal uh, artificial implants. The, that's one way to treat it. The other way is the, the more conventional, more tried and true way, which is where a metal stem, the, the head that's arthritic is cut off. A metal stem with a metal head is uh, put into the joint, into the femur, and then typically a plastic surface is put on the lining of the socket. Now that's the, the way that's been used for decades. More recently, the, the crown or resurfacing procedure. Which one's best? More and more literature is coming out, meaning orthopedic studies by experts that do high volumes of, of hip replacement, you know, as many as I do hip arthroscopy for the non-arthritic athletes. Uh, they're showing that the outcomes in general from resurfacing are not as reliable as they once thought, and they're seeing more long-term failures. There's also a problem with metal shedding. You got a metal head, big round metal. Are these titanium metal? Uh, there's different types of metals okay. uh, that can be used, but if there's metal on metal, and then there's even a little bit of friction, especially in a patient that's young and active and using their hip a lot, mm -hmm. there's metal debris that can shed and it could cause not only these metal uh, ions to go into the bloodstream, which may have some unknown effects, but also you can get uh, uh, actually the soft tissue, we call them tumors, they're not necessarily cancerous, but they are certainly unwanted and can uh, sometimes need a revision surgery to remove not only the, the tumor, the mass, but also remove the, the implants. So, so, so then a so-called total hip replacement then would be best. Yes, so the total hip replacement was the Both second one I talked about. Both statistically what you've So in general, and there's always in medicine right, okay, and okay. in everything, there's always exceptions to the rule. But in general, the more reliable uh, type of procedure for the majority of patients, maybe not for everyone, the majority would be to have a hip replacement that has the metal stem, metal head, and then a special low friction plastic socket, okay? okay? The, there is now, in someone that's young, and let's say they're a patient that, that can't be treated with a hip-preserving surgery like hip arthroscopy, those patients can have a hip replacement done, total hip, and then have a ceramic head, it's a different type of material, on the ball of the head of the implant, and then they can have either a ceramic or a special high density, low friction plastic lining the socket. And that is coming into favor for patients, say, as young as 30, 40, or 50, that unfortunately needs a hip replacement. Okay. And, and, and there's the issue with uh, not wanting to do a hip replacement in a young patient. Hip replacements are good, reliable procedures, probably one of the most reliably pain relieving procedures in orthopedics. 
okay? Mm -hmm. But if a patient's 30 or, or, or so, or they're 50 but they're a triathlete, they're gonna wear that artificial joint down and need a revision. That That's means it. a repeat surgery. And it's been shown that overall, if you go and try to remove those implants and do another surgery, the outcomes just aren't as good. Okay. And then if you have to do a second or third or fourth surgery, um, unless things change in the near future with uh, research and, and that revolutionizes how we do hip replacements, uh, it's still recommended to delay or defer a hip okay. replacement until you really need it. In your opinion, what should somebody look for in a surgeon, we're out of time, but what should somebody look for in a surgeon that's going to do a hip replacement? What should they ask them? Well, I, I think uh, if it, the first part is what do you look for? You look for someone with experience, okay? You look for someone that has done many of, uh, whether it's hip arthroscopy or hip replacement, you look for someone that's done a lot of these procedures, has good outcomes, few revisions, at least early revisions, and uh, someone that has a, a good reputation, not only by uh, the, the general public, but by the colleagues, by, by the other orthopedic surgeons that know who's really good, how, who's how really experienced. How, the, the general public would only know who's um, a, a really good surgeon, uh, probably by asking a orthopedic surgeon. Okay. Because um, you know, if I wanted, if I was asked who's a, a great um, chiropractor or, or deep tissue massage specialist, it's not my specialty, so I wouldn't be able to speak to that. But I can speak to orthopedics, and especially as a sports medicine expert, I can talk to that. And as a hip arthroscopy expert, I can really talk to the few people that are good at that. So if you talk to an orthopedic surgeon, even a general orthopedic surgeon they will probably have the best handle on who in their okay, community good. is an excellent joint replacement surgeon. All right, I wanna, th I wanna thank you for coming on the show. It's my pleasure. Uh, always a pleasure, we're gonna take a quick break. You're watching The Wellness Hour, I'm Randy Alvarez for now. I wish you could help.